I'm going to record this. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Jennifer Holzhauser, and today I am your Triple Gold Consultant, and I am going to do a training over knowing your why. This is a team building training, um, but I'm going to do a training over knowing your why, and we're going to kind of like collaborate everything into one here. Uh, so what is your guys's why? Write down your why. Um, why are you doing this? You know, what what is your why about doing this? What are you willing to sacrifice to get to that point in your career? Um, whether your team building is just to get to bronze and eliminate your monthly fee, or if you want to reach for the stars, be one star platinum, two star, three star, four star, five star, you know. Um, in the beginning, my why was simply to fill the void. Uh, backstory on me, I am a single mom, so I'm not sure if some of you guys know this or not, if you haven't met me or anything. Um, I am a single mom, and I've been a single mom since my son was one. He is now 20, okay? Uh, <laughs> when they say it takes a village to raise a family, they're not lying. <laughs> um, <laughs> even with one child, you know, it's still, I would not be where I'm at today without the push, the strength, the support of my parents and my family, Okay. Um, when my son was younger, I did everything for my son, right? I was his homer mom, right? Uh, Cub Scout assistant. I went camping with all the other dads, you know, the moms, June Steiner, they're like, well, Jennifer's doing it. So why don't we do it? Right. Um, I coached my son's basketball team. I coached my son's baseball team, you know, having those boys are like, uh, we have a girl as a coach, like what, <laughs> you know? Um, I ran, you know, his height, my son's high school football club. I ran his archery club. I never even shot a bow in my life. And I ran, you know, his archery club at high school. Um, his high school didn't have one, you know, so he did all through grade school and then his high school didn't have one. And so a group of us got together and started it for it. You know, um, I also, I worked a full-time job too, while getting my bachelor's degree, while, um, you know, I worked a part-time job as well while doing all of this, while, while I was doing all this, um, my why for doing this was simply because every time like I played my sports, my softball, my basketball, my volleyball, my tennis, whatever, you know, as a child, the first place you look is in the stands to see your parents, you know, to see like if you made that free throw, if you made that, you know, you hit that home run or you hit that game or that game winning hit or whatever, you know, or even if you strike out or miss that free throw, you know, the first place you turn as a child is to see your parents in the stands, right? Um, so that was my way of doing that, to know that I was always there for him. Um, also, you know, my dad coached me, you know, in my sport. So it was just kind of instilled in me to do this. Um, granted, you know, I didn't have a daughter, I had a son, but, you know, I knew how, you know, to swing a bat. I knew that all your power comes from your legs, you know, so I knew sports, I knew, I knew athletes. And um, so I felt, you know, I could give them the fundamentals that they needed. Um, but anyway, so my son graduated high school in December, 2020. And um, it wasn't, he graduated early, you know, but it wasn't because he was like on the National Honor Society. <laughs> he, you know, he worked, okay. He was a worker. Like he did the work program and graduated early. Um, he started working full time, you know, right after he graduated high school, even during high school, he was working, you know, like hauling cars back and forth. And I mean, they flew him down to Houston. I'm in Missouri, Jefferson City, Missouri. And what his boss flew him down at 17 years old down to Houston to drive a brand new $80,000 truck back from Houston, 12 hour drive. Um, you know, yeah, I was very nervous and I was calling him like every 10 minutes, <laughs> like, dude, what are you doing? You know? Um, but anyway, so he started working full time and I like had a bunch of, you know, time on my hands, you know, we no longer had football, baseball, scouts, archery, you know, nothing like that, you know? So, um, before this is the other part of my why that I don't talk about. Okay. But I thought that I wanted to talk about this because it could help somebody. Okay. I hope it helps somebody with this. Um, before my son graduated high school. I was with my um, significant other and, you know, things are always great in the beginning, uh, but the more, more and more red flags started popping up. So um, it turns out my significant other, he had a very bad drug addiction. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, 
as a very empathetic person, you know, and I'm the type of person like there's a problem, let's get a solution. You know, there's a problem, let's find a solution. So my solution was obviously let's help, let's get you the help you need, you know? Yeah. Um, but after like catching myself on fire so many times trying to put out his fires, you know, if that makes any sense, um, I, I couldn't do that right after. So like therapy research, I realized that I couldn't help him and that he had to do this on his own. You know, I couldn't keep catching myself on fire to try to help him, you know? Um, so my why then became to focus on me. Like I had to re-energize all of that and focus it on me and my child's future. So I joined in March of 2021. I joined Arch Revolution um, in March of 2021. And I started off really slow, you know, as I was re-energizing everything on me, I, um, just trying to take that focus, you know, just trying to, trying to take, I don't know, trying to take the focus off everything. And obviously I was like, why am I just going, doing this at a slow pace? You know, I needed to, like, I was throwing money away, you know? So I'm like, do something, Jennifer, do something, quit throwing money away. Um, so I did. So it was in May of 2021 and I was working my full-time job and I was on Facebook, like, you know, and I made one comment on Facebook and it was on a group that I was in already. And it was someone asking about being a, uh, work from home, you know, wanting to work from home. Um, I made this comment and holy cow, <laughs> I didn't even know that that other button on Facebook messenger existed. Okay. So, um, I took a screenshot of like all my comments and I sent them to my mentor, which is Jody Wierski and thank God for Jody. Okay. <laughs> um, that first day of sending prospects to a presentation, I became executive, like three oh. signed up. Yeah. Three signed up in one day, which was awesome. Uh, two weeks later I was silver, you know, so wow. it happened to me and nothing like that it ever really happens to me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, whenever I do a job, it's like, okay, well, let's start here, you know, and then we'll get you up here. You have to work your way up here. So it just kind of happened really fast. And I was, you know, freaking out. And we tell, you know, new builders, you know, like you're brand new, you're going to have a brand new agent, you know, fake it till you make it, right? And we mean that because if you don't know what you're doing, someone does, all right? So reach out to your gold, reach out to your platinum, whomever you need to reach out to because someone is there to help you. Um, your why can change, okay? So my why, it suddenly changed. Um, I knew that I was made to do this, right? I just, I felt it. I knew that this was what I was meant to do. Uh, my why changed from filling that void, you know, for my son graduating high school and, you know, trying to help somebody who didn't want the help they needed, um, to giving myself and my child a better life than what I could give him when he was little. I was tired of living paycheck to paycheck, you know, having that cap on my income. And I thought something's not right. It's not right when I'm working a full-time job, I have a bachelor's degree, you know, I'm still working a part-time job. Why am I still living paycheck to paycheck? You know, um, I live, I mean, I'm a very practical person. Okay. I live within my means. Okay. I don't have a huge house. I don't have a brand new car. I live within my means. Um, so it just wasn't making sense why I was, you know, busting to live paycheck to paycheck and why, um, so that was why my why changed from filling that void and focusing on myself to want to fulfill, you know, the dreams that I couldn't to my child, you know, when he was younger. Um, I'm not going to lie. Okay. I wanted to quit. All right. I, my road, my road to gold almost made me quit. Okay. Um, there's a quote I saw the other day. It said, people don't burn out because of what they do people burn out because life makes them forget about why they do it. All right. Um, I tell my new agents have a support group. All right. Have a support group. If you don't have a support group, we will support you. All right. Change your environment, do what you need to do to get that support group. Um, living with a toxic person, it's not healthy and building your business at the same time 
it just think, makes things more chaotic, okay? Um, literally, my significant other would come home from work, and the first thing he asked was, so what'd you book today? How much money did you make today? You know, normal relationships, like, I mean, yeah, that's like, you can have a normal con conversation asking that, you know, like, how was your day? What happened? La, la, la. In a toxic relationship, it was very condescending, okay? Yeah. It was a condescending question. Um, and then it would be like, when I'm like, yeah, I made $800 today or I made $1,200 today. And mm -hmm. his comment was like, oh, when do you get paid on it? You know? And then it's, oh, so you're 10 cents an hour. And I'm like, thanks dude. Oh. You know? Oh. So not having that support at home, it almost made me quit. And I literally in December of 2021, I was six away from gold, six away from gold in December, 2021. And it kept slipping, okay? Um, further and further away from me, it just kept slipping. Then I was one of those agents that um, I set my accounts up wrong, okay? So I was told later then that now, you know, I finally got, you know, closer and, you know, I was building it back up and I was four from gold. Then I got that dreadful news that, well, let's add another nine to that, you know, because I set my accounts up wrong. So. Um, I called Jody in January and I was like, Jody, I have to quit. I have to quit. You know, after being called, you know, like when you're in a toxic relationship, you get called names daily on a daily basis, right? There's no encouragement. It's all just negative. Um, and I was told, you know, the name calling and then the need to get a real job, um, basically having zero support from my own environment, from my person, you know, um, Jody said, no. She said, you're not quitting. And I'm like, Jody, I don't think you understand, you know, <laughs> like every single night, you don't understand, girl. And she said, she goes, you know, if you want to quit, quit on that, quit on your relationship. Don't quit on yourself. And I got goosebumps when she told me that, like I'm getting goosebumps now. Um, so I did. I finally got that courage. You know, I had enough and I had to move out of my own home. I moved out of my own house in this summer, June of 2022. Um, he moved out a month later. So he literally squatted in my house for a month. Um, Jody is awesome. Yes. I'm glad I saw that, that comment. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Jody is amazing. Um, I'm still in the stages of cleaning everything up, you know, getting everything that I need and, but he's gone, you know, and I've been focusing on my son and myself. So I finally, I moved back to my house just last month and, um, you know, I've been focusing on myself. Um, everyone knows what you do. Okay. Everyone knows what you do, but when you know your why, your what you do becomes more clear and more impactful. All right. Everything I do, uh, booking travel, building a team, helping agents, you know, training, presenting, motivating, it's all motivated by my why, you know, and that that's my son right there. Yeah, he's 20. He's tall. Um, knowing why you are doing something makes all the difference in the world, because when you know your why, you can live your what you do with a passion. OK. Um, don't quit. And I thank God every day that Jody did not let me quit. Uh, put the work in. You know, I was working full time when I started this. And I heard this the other day, it was on one of our happy hours. Uh, one job pays the bills, the other pays your dreams, right? When you work full-time job and you have your side gig, one pays the bills, one pays your dreams. Uh, six months later, my full-time job let me go. You know, I knew after that, that I never wanted to be replaced again. And I knew I never wanted to work for someone else to make their dreams come true while having a cap on my salary, Okay. Um, I knew I never wanted to go back to an eight to five job ever again, you know? Um, so I put the work in, I put the work in big time. I still put the work in, um, be there for your team. All right. Be there for your team. Get in front of the camera. Um, your team is not just another number and your clients are not just a paycheck. Find your passion. Your why is the reason why you're here and doing this right. Be there for everyone. Be available. What sets you, what sets you apart from everyone else? Get in front of the camera. Have one on ones. Do the trainings. Open your Zoom. I will have my Zoom open, you know, and I'll tag my team and I'll say, "Hey, 
guys, I'm working all day today. I'm going to have my Zoom open. If you guys need anything, let me know, you know. Um, still, I still get text and, you know, whatever calls or whatever, but that's okay. You know, it's open for anyone who wants to be there, right? Um, Jody's Team Horizon, we have multitude of golds on there, right? And a couple of platinums, multitude of golds. And so we do a, a Q&A, like a golds Q&A. So two golds get on once a week and anybody can jump on, you know, on Team Horizon, would they jump on and with ever any kind of question that they have, it's an open forum, you know? So if it's a booking building, how do I register? Whatever, any type of question. Um, we have happy hours, okay? Get to know your team. <laughs> Get to know your team. I have some of the coolest agents on my team, okay? Like some of the coolest agents on my team. Um, I have an agent, Ben, lives in LA, and he does like editing and like producing, okay? for um like stars <laughs> like shows we watch on tv like golden gordon ramsey yeah he's like awesome i got my britney spears because of him okay like <laughs> that's an inside joke but yeah um do raffles you know get raffles save a percentage of your residuals give back to your team have team meetings you know get to know your agents um, some of my closest friends are now, well, I mean, my mentor, Jody, and um, other agents on my team, like Sheila, for instance, her husband had to move from Bakersfield, California to Missouri, 30 minutes away from me. Okay. She moved 30 minutes away from me. I would have never have got to meet her if it hadn't been for this, right? That's why I love the team building side. Um, there are team agents on my team that I talk to every day, you know, like half of my team right now, just like before this, they're like, you're going to do great. Do this. You got this. You know, um, there are some of my closest teams, um, Jody, Carolina, you know, they're my biggest supporters. And to think that it hasn't even been two years ago that I met them, I don't know what I would do without them. Okay. Um, so I mean, I talk to Jody even when her and her husband are on vacation. I still not a day goes by when I would talk to Jody. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> um, set your goals and look back on your milestones. You know, when I'm down or I'm struggling, I look back in my notebook. You know, like, yeah, I don't use Calendly. Okay. I still use my notebook. So if you're a team builder and you don't have Calendly, you can still team build. All right. I'm triple gold and I don't use Calendly. Um, I look back in my notebooks and I see where my numbers were last year and it shows me how far I've came. Um, you know, my goals, they tell me how much farther I need to go. So set your goals. Okay. Set your goals. Team building is not for the week. It is not for the week and it is hard, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, you're given these struggles to prepare you and make you stronger, all right? So like my goal struggle, it prepared me for what I'm going through now, okay? Um, in October, so I'm triple gold right now. In October, I was two, two away from quad gold, two away from quad gold and a hop jump and a skip away from platinum, all right? I, 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 I fell asleep and I woke up. <laughs> I fell asleep and I woke up one morning and it just like it yeah all broke loose um I'm just now getting back to where I was okay so people you know they can say like I'm gonna build this huge empire you know and leave a legacy but when things get hard they quit right they complain they quit um I was banned from Facebook jobs okay so like you know when my significant other he's like he'd send me jobs, you know, real jobs. He'd send them to me and I couldn't even look at it because I was banned from Facebook jobs. I'm like, yep, can't look at it. Sorry, that's a sign. Um, you know, I was put in Facebook jail, put in Facebook jail a few times. Nothing was going through on LinkedIn. N nothing was going my way. Okay. Couldn't get on Upwork, couldn't get on Indeed, nothing. Um, so I worked around it. Like I made a LinkedIn account for my son and I started some reason his went through, you know, so I started building on his, on his, um, I reached out to my past prospects, I reached out to inactive prospects. I was, 
you know, I wasn't going to let anything stop me because I knew I had to succeed at this. Um, this last thing that I want to talk about, I wrote this to my team when I first became silver. We were just talking about it in our team meeting earlier today. And um, I wrote it to my team when I first became silver. And so I wanted to do this again. Um, do not compare your journey to anyone else's, okay? Your timeline will never be the same as anybody else's. There are agents who started this journey after me and are further, way further along than I am. Throw your watch away and focus only on your journey. Find that grit, remember your why, and everything will fall into place. So this is what I wrote for you. Get Go get what belongs to you, right? Um, when I stopped asking for permission, doubting myself, and looking at other people's progress in my hustle, is that's when my hustle did a complete 360. My business started reaching new heights because I started doing the work, all right? Uh, the worst thing you can do with any goals you have is to compare your journey to someone else. Go get what belongs to you. Ignore everyone else. Stop comparing yourself to anyone else's journey. Channel that energy towards working on your own dreams. Become your own biggest supporter. My first booking I got was a single flight and hotel for one. I was seeing everyone else with their $6,000 first bookings, but I did not let my first booking discourage me. Stop and appreciate the little things. Do not, don't miss the journey if all you're looking for is your end goal. Focus on the next, next step. Take one step at a time and focus on the many milestones. Uh, throw your watch out the window as you work on reaching your goals. Stop looking at the clock. Stop measuring yourself against someone or something else. Stop looking for a way out. When you're investing time looking for a way out, you're wasting precious energy that can be used to help you. Acknowledge your limitations. Your road to success might not look like everyone else's, and that's okay. Everyone's situation is different. As you work to achieve your goals, there will be obstacles, bumps, bruises along the way. When the journey becomes more uncomfortable than what you're used to, it can be easy to throw in the towel and retreat. You can find the strength to keep going. When you persist, you will discover that the reward was worth the effort. So, okay, that and that, yay. All right, so any questions? Oh my God, I'm looking at myself just now. <laughs> oh, good. Awesome, I'm reading some of your guys' comments. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Yeah, throw your watch away. Enjoy this process. Awesome. Oh yeah, don't lose motivation. If you do, just come, you know, reach out to somebody. Reach out to me. Call me, Winter. I love it. I love pep talks. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sheila. I love you too. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. Great advice. Sorry, I'm just reading everybody's comments. If I'm with you, Winter. Thank you. Still, still climbing. Don't give up. Don't give up. You know, just because it came, that first silver came easy for me. That second silver was brutal. Okay. My gold was brutal. <laughs> what do you say to those that want to quit? If they're putting in the Jody, Jody told me I couldn't quit because she saw she saw what I was capable of. So if you see somebody that's capable of it, you know, let them know, you know, let them know, let them know what they're worth, you know, because I was feeling like worthless, you know, when you're told you're worthless on a daily basis, you know, you tend to feel <laughs> that you're worthless. So, you know, that's what don't let, you know, if you see what somebody's capable of doing, let them know that don't shy away from that. Thank you, thank you, you're welcome. No, we are not. I think that's across everyone's, you just need to tell yourself that you aren't going to let, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Chance. It's a struggle to get my business going. Yes, keep going, keep going. The heart, the beginning is the hardest. The beginning is the most overwhelming, it's the hardest, and it's probably the most time consuming. Awesome, James, yes. Thank you, Tori. Great training. Thank you. Thanks, Nina. Hear this? Just moved to a different country. Oh, yeah. You got this. You'll find it. I just joined the Discord, so I got the very end of this. 
Awesome. Nice with those borderline no coding weapons. Yes, exactly. Yes. If you need, you know, copy, if you need whatever, this is recorded. So if you need to listen to it again, listen to it. e uh, Struggles, but pushing through it. Yeah, keep pushing. Exactly. I love your guys' comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Oh, good. Good job, Yvonne. Uh, this recording, well, I think I recorded it to my computer. So, <laughs> so I have it. So I'll post it. Keeping this gold. The, oh, keeping gold is brutal. They're going out as soon as they come in. So, yeah, no, keeping it's brutal, but you have to stay consistent. Consistency is key. You have to stay consistent. Don't give up. It'll eventually come together. All of a sudden, I looked at my team and wondered where they all came from. I could remember only having exactly. Go back and look. Look where you started. As Tommy Joe, I don't know what to do when I just made silver. Harry, I'm knocking on the door to one star. Exactly. Exactly, Chance. If you know, if I can do this, that's the one thing. Like, if I can do this, you guys can do this. There's no like Jody always says, if she can build her business during COVID and book a million dollars, anybody can do this, you know. And if I can do this, you guys can do this. I've made mistakes, you know, we learn from our mistakes. So if anybody can do this, you can do this. Um, oh, my computer is acting up funny. Okay. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, Jen. You're welcome. Yeah. Remember you're stronger. Triple gold. Yep. Everyone has days when they, yeah, everyone has days when they want to quit, close the computer, take time for yourself, regroup, start the next day. Exactly. Mindset is everything. Jennifer is going to be platinum. I tell myself, hey, I manifest. I tell myself every night before I go to bed, I manifest my, manifest myself walking across that stage. Yeah. Uh, what's the link to my YouTube? Um, social media, I don't believe I follow you. You can look me up in um, on YouTube, Jennifer Holzhauser. Nervous starting out with this was confidence. But Oh, awesome, Sophia. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just going to start on the team building side. What is one one piece of advice for uh, a newbie for team building? Don't let the no's discourage you. Don't let the no's discourage you. Don't let the comments discourage you. Help the ones that want help. You know, don't chase. If somebody's not working their business or not coming to the trainings or not you know, attending the Q and A's, not, you know, benefiting themselves, not helping themselves. Don't chase them. Okay. Help the ones that want help. Yeah. Gold hold is no joke. Where were you? I don't, I, I don't know yet where I'll be posting it. I'll send it to Tommy, Joe or Patrice or Jody or whoever. Jody is goat. Hey, uh, Charles, he's getting behind Jody. She's goat junior. How did you work around the team building? I continued to get thrown in review was simply hired and indeed totally shut me down when I tried posting. My mentor tells me to keep trying. Um, A, I have over 10,500 followers on my LinkedIn. The reason I have that is because I consistently post. You can connect your branch up to LinkedIn too. So it automatically posts for you. Um, add followers, you know, what the jobs that I did go through, I accepted all of them. You know, I accepted them as followers. Like if they wanted to connect with me, I accepted them. Um, when my LinkedIn did shut down, you know, and I couldn't get anything through at all for a long time, I opened up my son's account. Like there's ways to work around it. So if you, you know, have a husband or son or 18 year old or whatever, somebody else, you know, open up, use their name, use their LinkedIn for, you know, to do it. Uh, don't forget Upwork too. Um, I've not done Simply Hired and indeed like, yeah, I can't even, <laughs> no. <laughs> if you can get on Indeed, awesome. More power to you. But I cannot have, like, I don't even think I can type in indeed.com without it shutting me down. Um, yeah, I do have Drive. I do have the Drive. I threw my watch away three years ago. And this is my fourth year. I've had three clients. I now want to be platinum. I want to quit, but I don't. No, don't quit. Don't quit. Oh, thank you, Winter. I knew you had it. I knew you had it in you to post those links. 
If you give up today, you have never known if tomorrow is the day that you were waiting for. Exactly. Yeah, those comments can be mean on LinkedIn. Just ignore them. Don't fight back. Don't argue with them. Just ignore them. Thank you, Chance. I appreciate that. I actually build and use LinkedIn consistently. I just don't like Facebook groups these days. How can we properly team build a Facebook? I po I do job ads. So like the same thing. So I'll do my mock, like five mock bookings in the morning, afternoon, and evening on different groups. I do five job ads every morning, every afternoon, every evening on different groups. So a job ad on five different groups. Same as my, you know, uh, mock bookings. So I consistently mock book and team build advertise myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gerald Z. Uh, yeah, Upwork, it is another, um, there, it's more for freelancers, Daniela. Um, it's more for freelancers. So it's this type of work, like they understand the 1099 concept and not a W-2. Um, so yeah, I check out Upwork as well. I've been really harsh to myself and just bring myself down, but then I had someone message me wanting to, there you go, Adriana, think positive. Think positive. Yes, congratulations. I can see why all y'all hate Indeed. I was working on a job post and I haven't even submitted it. Yeah, exactly. I can't even type it in. A setback is a setup. Exactly, Chance. To post on those sites, what link would you use or do you have an example of what you post? Um, I use, for LinkedIn, I use a job ad, like a job, like, like you are, you know, if you're looking for a job and you see the summary, description. There's tons on LinkedIn, Missy. So don't copy and paste, you know, use your own, use examples of them and then use your own. Okay. Don't copy and paste. Um, for Facebook mocking or Facebook mocking for Facebook job ads for mock bookings, but job posts, I use like who wants to be a travel agent, you know, today, or who wants to work from home or who wants to book travel from the comfort, you know, any type of just something to get to grab somebody's attention on Facebook. Cause you know, you scroll on Facebook. If it's not grabbing that person's attention, it's gonna go, you know, get lost. Um, Yeah, setback is a setup for comeback. I'll have to look into Upwork. You're welcome. Do you automate your process in any type of way? I believe you said you use branch up for LinkedIn. I need to get into LinkedIn and I have heard of I do have a lineable. I haven't really done anything with it with the lineable. Um, but I do have a lineable. So yeah, get in there. Um, I don't automate anything. I don't even use Meta or whatever they call it. Meta, Meta. Um, I'm still old school Facebook. That's what I, <laughs> I do everything on my phone. My job posting ads on LinkedIn. My good Lord. Um, my job posting ads on LinkedIn, my, or my job posting ads on LinkedIn, I do on my computer. Okay. Um, my Facebook ads through job posting ads through Facebook. I do it on my phone. My mock booking, I do it all on my phone because the emojis and you can grab attention through there. Um, oh, you're welcome, Erica. I appreciate that. Will LinkedIn shut you down just for posting vacation photo, photos and promotion? I have not had that happen to me, Antonio. I have not, because I do my, since I have over 10,000 followers, 10,500, um, I don't, you know, I don't, I think I'm, knock on wood, I think I'm in that position now where I can, you know, post. Um, yeah, okay. So... Oh, my dog's barking. It scared me. Mocking is basically like a flyer you use to create yourself. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Mock booking is basically just like a travel ad. I have a bunch of uh, mock booking travel ads on my YouTube as well. Um, and Jody has tons on hers too. So yeah, I mean, that's for booking. And then you can do the same thing with your job ads too. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, I got through all those comments. Perfect. I love it. Does someone use TikTok to advertise joining as an agent or for clients? Would you recommend it? Yeah, Sophia. Um, I use TikTok to, um, I have not had anything on it. I know Sierra St. Arnold, like, is TikTok queen. And Jody actually got her first client referral from TikTok um, today or last night or whatever. She just posted it uh, or told me about it. 
um, yeah, use, utilize all forms of social media. It's free, right? That's the same thing I, I say in my presentations. You know, don't just stick to Facebook. Don't just stick to LinkedIn. Utilize all forms of social media, TikTok, Pinterest. Um, God, I name all eight of them like real fast. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, uh, Pinterest, YouTube, Snapchat, right? Utilize all of them. Um, don't overthink your mock bookings, Casey. Do not overthink your mock bookings. It's a travel ad. Okay. Yeah. Go study my, uh, uh, Sarah Rogers has a really good one. I have a really good one, which I kind of like implemented off of hers. Uh, Jody has a good one too. I think I missed. Okay. I just started team building. The problem I'm having is I have gotten a ton of interest, but they don't show up to the zoom meeting after confirming a time with them. Is that common? Yes. Um, Andy, I always reach out to my prospects about an hour to an hour to an hour to a half an hour prior to like, hey, uh, I'm confirming our call in an hour. Do you have Zoom ready? You know, something as simple as that. So, yeah, definitely remind them. Send them a reminder about an hour. Um, I just started TikTok and have so many views. Yay, Sarah. Woohoo. Would you recommend creating separate accounts for this or do you post on your personal accounts? I post, like, I'll post my mock booking on my, or my travel ad. My travel ad, I do all through my personal. So job ads, I'm sorry. My job ads, I do all through my personal accounts. And then I share them through my personal account on Facebook groups. Um, my mock bookings, I post on my business account. And then I will share them via my personal account. Does that make sense? It's officially Jody is the goat. When I grow up, I want to be just like her. <laughs> hey, oh, Charles, he's coming in next. She... <laughs> Charles, he booked over. Can I tell Charles? He? Can I tell everyone the world, the whole evolution? Sure. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Charles, he booked over $500,000 her very first year of being coming a travel agent. She started December 31st of 2021. And December 31st of 2022, she texted Jody and I, and she was like, well, I didn't make my goal, you know, and this was like this afternoon. And then I don't know what, like 10 o'clock, nine, 10 o'clock that night. She's like, oh, just kidding. I just booked a trip. I hit over 500. <laughs> I love it. Um, how do I find followers on social media? I share, 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 share. You know, and if they want to follow me, they just simply click follow. Um, yeah, just share. Keep sharing. I'm just now going through the training, but was curious if we are starting a Facebook and YouTube from scratch or if we have basic pages set up from our initial investment. Uh, no, Antonio, you're setting everything up through scratch. So if you have a Facebook page already and a YouTube page already, utilize off of that. Okay, don't just start a Facebook page now because they're probably going to look at you like you're spam, all right? So if you've never, like, don't have any group, like if you're brand new, I don't recommend joining groups right now, okay? Because Facebook's going to see you as spam. Uh, between Jody and Amy, I'm going to make a choice. <laughs> you follow the examples of the successful people in this business. The key is being a copy cat and copying the right cat, exactly. Yeah, Charles is amazing. <laughs> I do. I had a uh, I had a competition between Charles and Jody. Like, which one's booking the most this year, ladies? <laughs> yeah, put yourself out there. Exactly. Winter wants your social media, Charles. She's we're talking to her and doing a training. You can also invite your Facebook friends. So, yeah, invite your Facebook friends. Thank you. Uh, same, Charlesy, I need the link. Yep. Oh, Charlesy's amazing. She, we're going to be hearing her name all the time. Oh, good. Yeah, I do miss Cub Scouts. You're welcome. Not a problem. All right. Is there anything else? I'm going to go back and read the, uh, I haven't read all the comments yet. Yeah. When people can't make it to a call, do you book them later in the week to talk to them? What do you say? 
Um, yeah, I just give them a couple options to reschedule. Like I'll say, you know, I do have Tuesday at this, Wednesday this, uh, Thursday this. Which one of these work best for you to reschedule? You know, just put yourself in that position. Like if it was you, you know, if you were talking to them and if it was, you know, you were going for an interview or you were going to listen to information, just put yourself in that shoe, you know. Like, how would you want that answer to come back to you? You know what I mean? So. All right. Well, I think that's the end here. Um, yeah, thank you guys for being patient on the beginning. I apologize for everything, um, for the delay on that. And um, I appreciate everybody's support. I love this. This is amazing. Um, thank you, thank you. Calendly has worked for me. I do pay the description. And, okay, perfect. Yeah, I have not used Calendly. I'm like, I love my pencil and paper. I'm so old school. And it's so funny because nobody has ever called me old school before, before I started doing this. <laughs> so, here in 20 minutes. In a row. Oh, awesome, Erin. I love it. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Tyler. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because Jody's just as old school as I am. Just because someone isn't ready now doesn't mean they don't want to sign up eventually. I enrolled someone this morning who attended a meeting in September. Exactly. Always reach out to your past prospects because you never know. Okay. And getting that email, you know, it's like Christmas morning. You, you know, it's, it's awesome. Like you assigned a new agent, you know, getting that email is like Christmas morning and you're like, go back to your notes and you look and you're like, whoa, that was from like two months ago, you know? Awesome. Joy. Good. Awesome. <laughs> I know. I don't either. <laughs> they do. Travel industry can help. It can, Maggie. Yeah, they do. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to um, go back and read the comments here because I did not read them all, but um, I'm going to turn my video, my video off and my mute off um, and go back and read the comments. But thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate, I appreciate your support. I appreciate everything and uh, good luck. Keep booking, keep booking, keep building, you know, keep reaching for the stars, get those stars, um, you know, no matter what, get your goals, reach your goals. If you don't hit your goals on that date, I didn't, you know, I didn't hit my goals on that date. Set another date, you know, don't, don't get rid of the goal, change the date, you know? So yes, I'll post, I'll put, I'll post the recording somewhere on it. So yes. All right. I'm going to stop recording here and, um, all right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate everything. All right. Bye guys.